Grozan, what do you think about the RFK announcing he's running as independent? Oh, I think that's so smart, you know, because they wouldn't they wouldn't let him, you know, they, they'll burn they'll burn they already Bernie Sanders him. But uh, I think it's good. I think that all this shake up, all this new way of thinking, any anything that comes against the establishment, which is what we're living in now, this establishment, uh, anything that comes against it and shakes up rocks the boat is just gonna it's great and uh it gets people thinking the worst thing they did the establishment was that quarantine the worst thing they did to themselves because it broke people's routine and mind control is dependent on routine so they're so stupid luckily for us thinkers that they put us all in a thing that broke the routine and therefore broke our mind control. Mm -hmm. And that was a beautiful, fresh, new day for America. And the more they keep trying to do it and break in our routine, the more free thought we're going to give birth to. Mm -hmm. So I really think we're on the verge of something wonderful and good, even though it looks terribly negative right now. I, I think keep the vision and, uh, Keep the faith. I you think I it's both. coming. I think so as well. I think we're finding each other. Here's what his sister said on Twitter yesterday. You can zoom in a little bit, Rob. Kennedy's so past regarding yeah, what? This is, RFK's this is family. about RFK running. Uh, go up to the zoom. Go up to the first tweet at the top. Uh, yeah, so Bobby might share the same name as our father, but he does not share the same values, vision, or judgment. Today's announcement is deeply saddening for us. We denounce oh, his candidacy. What a scumbag. And believe it to be perilous for our country. Statement on Robert Kennedy Jr.'s announcement today. The decision of our brothers, Bobby, as a third party candidate against Joe Biden is dangerous to our country. Bobby might share the same name as our father, but he does not share the same values. Da, 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 da. So we denounce Rory Kennedy, Ray, Kerry Kennedy, Joseph Kennedy II. And then you have the last one that's Townsend. And I responded to this and I said, what do you say? I said, can you go to my tweet, Rob? So to, they're part of show, the establishment. Can you go to. Yeah. Right. Go, uh -huh. in. Rob, can you find. I have it. It's just locked up there. Okay. There you go. Oh. This makes. Oh, that's great. You said this. I said, this makes me want to support him even more. It's unfortunate to hear both your father and uncle were doing everything they could to fight the establishment and they paid for it with their lives here, here. And their policies are favored also favored more of today's independent party than the Democratic. Here, here. I wow. love that you said that. Thank you so much. Can you imagine your, that. your sister and them oh, just brother, literally is... shitting on you for the establishment? Shame on you. Well, shame on that. Who is this? Rob Reiner? What did he say? Bobby Kennedy Jr. is on the runs and events and dangerous and cynical move by wealthy Republicans to put Trump back in the White House. I talked with Bobby and told him that what he was doing is destroy American democracy. Oh, he didn't care. Rob Reiner's a freaking... He told he's, someone he's psych, that he's them psycho. running for president will destroy America, and they yeah. didn't care about your yeah, opinion. Rob Reiner, they do not understand that you're a very smart man. That's crazy. He should immediately drop out. As you know, democracy is dangerous to our democracy, <laughs> and we can't let Americans vote. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, that would be fascism. Let, let, let me ask you guys this, and this is coming from a genuine place of, of, of respect, where I, given the Trump-Biden... <laughs> Uh, duopoly, I would definitely consider voting for Bob McKay. I All really day. would. 100%. Um, but A, does his family know more about him than the rest of us? Just general question. And number two, and this is, I think, the more important question is, who does his third-party candidacy affect more? Does it affect the Trump base more? Does it, the Trump candidacy or does it affect the Biden candidacy? Because we saw the numbers come out, what, a week ago? We talked about it, I think, Saturday like 50% of Republicans approve of RFK, Hello. where it's like 15% like, of Democrats. Go, go, go ask the question, and I want you to answer it if you're asking it. What, what, what context in this discussion does it have if his family knows him better than the rest of us know him? Of course they know him better than the rest of us know him, but what's your point with that? Well, you Maybe know. they know something we what, don't he's gonna know. He's going to do something radical? Correct. Like, like what? Like what? Well, I don't know. That's why I'm not his family. I don't know. But if your entire family... It wouldn't it be a little bit weird if the entire O'Shauna family came out and said, "Yeah, we don't recommend Vinny or the Bet David family or the Bar family." I, the I don't you know, know what that would tell me. You know what, what that would, would tell, tell you? That would tell me that family is political party over family. Yeah, that's, that's right. what it would tell me. That's and it, right. it, it is. It, if my kids ever did that, mm -hmm. do you know what I would do to Dylan Tico <laughs> Senna or Brooklyn if they it's ever publicly 
chose that over their own family. Yeah. You have no idea how annoyed, how disappointing this behavior is to publicly mm -hmm. say something like this. Simple. Mm -hmm. You can simply say, we have differences, but we wish them all the best. Okay. We, we, we have differences, but we wish them all yeah. the best. And that's the right approach to take. Now, to answer the second question, yeah. which party do you think RFK is going to hurt more, Republican or Democratic Party? By running as an independent, like, will he be a Ross Perot? And hurt senior, or will he be a Ross Pro and hurt maybe Biden in this situation? Well, I think that the the way I look at it is that they were uh, polling Democrats and young Democrats like RFK. Young Democrats like RFK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, young Democrats. And by the way, you know, there's an article that came out he's yesterday. Very truthful on, you know, he's truthful on stuff that the uh, the Democrat Party uh, is um, wanting to sweep under the rug well did you see what trump had to say about rfk and this might be our answer well here's the, the story yeah. it says team trump readies attacks on rfk as spoil anxiety grows this right. is page 12 because a lot of people are saying what if it's a trump rfk uh, what do you call it vp team trump is preparing to target rfk as internal campaign polling suggests his third party bid could draw more votes from trump than biden in the general election one source stated that the polling showed kennedy taking more votes from trump than left-wing Independent Cornell Westwood from Biden, if both were tested to counter his potential threat, Trump's campaign and allies are planning to release opposition research on Kennedy with one source saying we're going to be dropping napalm after napalm oh. on his head, reminding the public of his very liberal views dating back to 2012. The research aims to highlight Kennedy's past statements, including comparing uh, factory meat integrators to Osama bin Laden and labeling the NRA a terror group. Well, that would be good if Trump did that because that'll make more Democrats vote for RFK, won't it? I, I don't know if there's a large contingency within the Democratic Party to vote for RFK. The numbers don't back it up. And in fact, why would Trump want to attack RFK? Because he knows that there's a way larger contingency on the right that is listening to but RFK, Trump, especially the libertarian no, if vote. If he says that he's a liberal and it brings out all RFK's liberal policies, then nobody on the right is going to vote for him. Well, right? What are his liberal policies? I don't well, think he seems too liberal. The things that he just said, the, his things about NRA meat. is a terror and, group and yeah. meat, Osama bin Laden. Nobody on the right is going to vote for that. It, it just still I mean, boggles if, my can mind. Can you pull up... Uh, if, if Biden's going to be the guy, or where, Pat, where if Biden and Roseanne is going to be the guy, ranks. how can you in your right mind as a Democrat, I don't give a damn about party over whatever, how can you in your right mind vote, because he's the front runner, am I, am I, Who? Biden, of course, how the hell, for the Democrats, you, yeah, 100%, yeah. how can you in your right mind vote for that, I, are you, you'd, you'd be out of your Look, mind, that's the exact question, yeah, just so we're super, super, super clear, brother, okay. right. that's yeah, the exact it. question the people on the left are asking about Trump, yeah, but yeah. how in the hell can you vote for that? Uh, okay. So just to be clear, yeah. sorry, but my, that. but my, mine is politics. both sides are asking no, that I, question. No, but I understand, but mine isn't of personality. Mine is look at what the hell Politics. happened in this past four. Hold on, yeah. look what happened in this past four years. And I said that we told you so. How can you, in your right mind, say from Trump was just the mean guy? And I can't believe he said this. Mm -hmm. Look at the country's state of affairs right now. That's my point. I, I know what you mean. Like, how could you vote for Trump? But we were right. Mm -hmm. We were right about a lot.